Hello, today's installment on uh, horn maintenance and repair is uh, on how to fix a, and restring a rotary valve and also adjust the height of the key. Uh, kids and adults of different sizes and shapes all have different uh, size hands and sometimes it's necessary to adjust the height of the key so that it fits their hand a little better. So before you want to do something like this, you're going to need a few things. Uh, I have my little kid here, you're going to need replacement string. I got some bumpers in there too. Uh, to cut the string to the right length, you're gonna you can easily just use a pair of nail clippers. They do a pretty good, pretty good job of cutting. Uh, you are gonna have to figure out a way to get the tip of that string through a, quite a small hole. So a lighter is pretty good to just make sure the string's not frayed. And uh, I guess you don't need any real fancy uh, screwdrivers or anything. You can pretty much just get by with a Swiss Army in a pinch, anything that has something you could use as a, as a screwdriver. Either that or your can opener has a pretty good one on the end of it too. So, we're just looking at this uh, first valve there. I've cut a piece of string that's probably about six inches long, I suppose. You don't want to cut it too short because it's pretty difficult to maneuver it once you've, once you've got it on there and get the valve tight. So, first of all, to get the string off there, you've got these two, str these two screws here. This one just anchors it to the end, and this one is uh, one that just helps to hold it in place, keep it nice and snug. So the first thing you can do is just let out the tension here and let this up by a few turns. Not too far, because otherwise it'll come right out, and then you've got to get it back in later. So in this guy here, you got to let him out. You can usually just use the tip of your screwdriver there to get that out of there. So you see once you've got that frayed, you can pretty much just unwrap it from around the valve there and take it right out of there. That string's not in bad shape, but it is a little frayed and whatnot. Not necessary to replace that really, but it's getting there. So on my other string, I've got one end that's that I've uh, melted a little bit, so the other end could use it. So I'm just going to use the lighter get a little bit of fray on that one, get rid of the fray. So what you want to do first of all is put just a, an overhand knot there through the end and tie it off so it doesn't have anywhere to go. Just an easy little knot. And then what you're going to do is go in from the bottom here on this back hole and in and pull up the tension there. see how that goes in there. And basically what you need to do now, you grab that lighter and put it under the key, it makes it a little easier for you. So we're basically just going to make a, starting in a counterclockwise motion, you're just going to make a figure eight around that spindle, around the other screw, over, and around. If you want to do that again, you can go around the first one in counterclockwise and hook it around that top, tuck it in there, and then around. So while you've got that there, it's easy to just tighten this up for the tension. It'll keep things in place for a minute while you get the rest finished. So tighten up that top screw. Don't, don't uh, screw it too tight. You'll strip the threads on it. So then we've got to get this other end through the other hole down here on the end of the lever or whatever you'd call that thing. So once you've got that through, you're good. Now, you've got to attach this and it's best to have uh, a little bit of the tension of the, string, of the uh, screw but also on top of the string. So if you can loop it around this way so that the string comes under that way and then just slip that down over top of the screw see if you can get it pretty tight there just pulling uh, against the screw there for attention and then you just want to put this screw down here to tighten it up somebody's getting arrested outside of my place then you just tighten that down. You see you've got a fair bit of extra here. You can just trim that right off. 
so now you've got a functioning valve, except that you've tightened this one. So as far as adjusting the height of the key, once you've got this string tacked down here, it's not going to go anywhere. But you can loosen this and it still gives some mobility in the key. So by loosening this guy here, you can let that valve back out. You see, holding here, it'll move independent of that screw. You can move it up and down. So, getting it just loose enough that you can move it. And looking down at the height of your keys there, you can adjust it here. See down here? So that you've got a relatively the same height there. You can pull it out to make it uh, a little bit higher or push it further, further down to get it a little bit tighter. So then all that's left really is to tighten this back down so when you press the key it'll have traction. Again, making sure you don't tighten it too tight, you don't want to strip it. And then once you've got that down with the tension there, it'll move with the valve or the valve will move with the string. And then depending on how long you want to leave this can easily just trim off that excess there, however long, and give it a little wick, burn it off, and there you go. You've adjusted uh, the height of the key, and also given yourself some new uh, fancy new string on there.